I developed epilepsy when I was eight years old, and um, I'd have violent seizures, and I would, uh, I, literally, I couldn't get out of bed. For over 10 years, Rick Harrison captivated millions with his quick wit and sharp business skills on Pawn Stars, the popular reality show that introduced viewers to the world of pawnbroking. However, beneath the gold and silver pawn shop success, Harrison has been grappling with personal and financial turmoil that has now come to light. From legal disputes with his own mother to heartbreaking personal losses, Rick Harrison's life has taken a dramatic and unexpected turn. Let's take a closer look at the struggles facing this well-known pawnbroker. Early Life and Path to Stardom Rick Harrison was born on March 22, 1965, in Lexington, North Carolina. While still young, his family relocated to San Diego, California when his father, Richard Harrison, was reassigned there by the Navy. A childhood struggle with epilepsy confined Rick to bed for long periods, sparking a deep love of reading and learning. This experience cultivated a fascination with history and business, partly inspired by books like The Great Brain, which told the story of a young swindler, an influence that shaped Rick's future. He dropped out of school in the 10th grade, opting instead to make money by selling counterfeit Gucci bags. In 1981, after a failed real estate venture, the Harrison family moved to Las Vegas. It was there that Rick's father, known as The Old Man, opened a small coin shop, a business that would eventually evolve into the gold and silver pawn shop. Building the gold and silver pawn business. In 1989, Rick and his father opened the gold and silver pawn shop just off the Las Vegas Strip. They faced several legal hurdles before securing their pawn license, but over time, they grew the business into a profitable venture. By 2005, they were earning around $3 million annually from loans, much of it through the interest charged on them. The store gained fame for its unique inventory, including sports memorabilia and rare historical objects. Even with the shop's success, Rick had bigger ambitions. For four years, he pitched the idea of a reality show centered on the pawn business. Finally, in 2009, Pawn Stars premiered and quickly became a hit. The show, which featured Rick, his father, his son Corey, and Corey's friend Chumley, gave audiences an inside look at the pawn world. It wasn't just about the items being sold, but also the quirky personalities working behind the counter. Rick Harrison's Marriages and Love Life Rick Harrison's personal life has been marked by ups and downs, particularly in his romantic relationships. His first marriage took place at a young age when, at just 17, his girlfriend Kim became pregnant. Although they experienced a miscarriage, the couple decided to get married, and shortly after, in 1983, they welcomed their first son, Corey. Two years later, their second son, Adam, was born. However, the pressures of young parenthood and other factors led to the breakdown of their marriage, and the couple eventually divorced. Not long after his split from Kim, Rick met Tracy on a blind double date. The pair quickly hit it off, and after six months of dating, they moved in together. Eight months later, they tied the knot, with Tracy stepping in to help raise Corey and Adam. Their relationship lasted several years, but eventually, like Rick's first marriage, it ended in divorce, adding another chapter to his complex personal life. In 2013, Rick Harrison walked down the aisle once again, this time marrying Deanna Burdett, a legal worker who caught his eye after they met through mutual friends. Their wedding was a star-studded event, with Pawn Stars cast members Corey and Chumley playing key roles, and the ceremony itself making headlines for its lavishness. However, after seven years of marriage, Rick and Deanna divorced in 2020, further adding to the personal challenges that have coincided with his professional life. Personal Hardships and Legal Challenges Despite the success of Pawn Stars, Rick Harrison has been facing numerous personal and professional issues. In 2018, his father passed away at the age of 77 after a battle with Parkinson's disease. Known to fans as the old man, Richard Harrison's death was a significant loss not only for the Harrison family, but also for the millions of viewers who loved his tough yet endearing personality. Adding to the grief, Richard's will revealed underlying family tensions. His youngest son, Chris, was entirely excluded from the will, raising suspicions of long-standing disputes within the family that had never surfaced publicly. Things took a more serious turn in 2022 when Rick's mother, Joanne Harrison, 
filed a lawsuit against him. She alleged that Rick mishandled family assets, including her stake in the pawn shop. Court documents revealed claims that Rick took out a $3 million loan without her approval and misused funds. This legal battle has highlighted the strained relationship between Rick and his mother, with Joanne fighting for control over her financial interests. Rick has denied any misconduct, implying that outside influences might be manipulating his mother. He expressed frustration over the lack of communication between them, even though one of the companies named in the lawsuit is owned by Joanne herself. As the case progresses, it's clear that family conflict plays a major role in these legal issues. Financial challenges and business decline. Alongside the family drama, there have also been whispers of financial difficulties for Rick Harrison. In 2019, he listed his luxurious Las Vegas home for nearly $4 million. The home, situated in a high-end neighborhood, boasted extravagant features like a wine cellar, home theater, and even an elevator. The decision to sell sparked speculation that Rick might be facing financial troubles, although there has been no confirmation of bankruptcy. Although the pawn shop remains open, Pawn Stars is not as dominant as it once was. The show, which was a ratings juggernaut, has seen its viewership decline over the years. Rick himself has started stepping back from daily operations, choosing semi-retirement and focusing more on projects like Pawn Stars Do America. However, with decreasing TV ratings and ongoing legal battles, questions about the future of his business empire persist. A personal tragedy, the death of Adam Harrison. Perhaps the most devastating event in Rick Harrison's life occurred in January 2024, when his son, Adam Harrison, tragically passed away. Adam, who had briefly worked at the pawn shop but later pursued a career as a plumber, died from an accidental fentanyl overdose at the age of 39. The Harrison family and their fans were shocked by the news, with Rick sharing a heartfelt tribute to his son on social media. Adam's death brought attention to the growing fentanyl crisis in the U.S., with Rick using the platform to raise awareness about the dangers of the drug. This personal loss has added even more grief to what has already been a difficult time for Rick. What lies ahead for Rick Harrison? Despite the series of hardships, Rick Harrison continues to push forward. He has expanded his television career with spin-offs like Pawn Stars Do America and has even hinted at pursuing political ambitions. He's become active in Nevada's political scene, supporting Republican candidates and suggesting that he may run for office one day. As Rick steps back from his daily role at the pawn shop, it's evident that both his personal and professional challenges have left a mark on him. The question now is whether Rick Harrison will manage to rise above these difficulties and rebuild his legacy, or if the weight of personal loss and legal battles will ultimately be too much to overcome.